Hi, I'm Max and you're watching She Knows Digital, your weekly digest of online marketing tips and digital hacks to make your business skyrocket in the coming months. Last week I told you about my ebook, How to Write Blog Posts That Google and Readers Will Love. This ebook will help you write Google friendly blog posts in four easy steps. You can download it from She Knows Digital, you can find the link below this video as well. Today let's talk about the difference between WordPress categories and tags and how they affect your SEO efforts. So what are categories and tags and why we need them? When blogging you will cover many different topics. To group those topics into common themes or buckets, you create a category. For example, let's say you have a fashion blog and write about different fashion items. You could create categories like dresses, trousers, skirts, shoes and so on. Categories are navigational. Think of them as your site's table of content or general topics of your website. They help readers understand what your site is all about. Because categories are hierarchical, subcategories can be also used. Tags, on the other hand, are used to specifically describe the details of your blog post. In other words, they serve as index words, but they are not hierarchical. Let's get back to our example of fashion blog. We have a fashion categories, dresses, trousers, etc. And tags could be things like colors, so blue, red, or styles, retro, festivals, etc. So how to choose what should be your category or a tag? Choosing categories and tags really depends how you want to structure your blog or a site. If you are a fashion blogger and want to focus mainly on fashion styles, then different style types will be your categories and garments and colors will be your tags. So you see what you are doing? You create categories based on the focus of your blog. Okay, what about assigning one post to multiple categories? Is it SEO friendly? The fact is there is no SEO advantage of signing multiple categories for a specific post. However, signing a post to multiple categories doesn't create a huge duplication issue as the post URL doesn't change. Just one category will be used for, for it if you use permalinks. However, if you are regularly adding multiple categories to your site, you may want to consider restructuring your site's categories. Perhaps some of them need to be tags rather than categories. Keep your hierarchy organized for better user experience. Hope this short video really helped you to understand the difference between categories and tags. I'm Max and you watch She Knows Digital. Please leave your comments below the video and please subscribe to my newsletter.